I'm Rainer from Toshiba and I have some exciting news from the Toshiba Hard Disk Drive Laboratory. So here we are evaluating hard disk drives in larger enterprise and uh, data center systems. And for today, I would like to um, explain about the performance and the capacity of enterprise hard disk drive. So here in our lab, we have a AIC J4078 J board, which is a high capacity four unit top loader J board with 78 three and a half inch hard disk drives. We have installed here 78 times Toshiba 18 terabyte SAS hard disk drives, which gives us a total capacity of 1.4 petabyte. This J board is connected with four SAS 4 link cables, to our head load server. Which is a Supermicro 2U server. And the four SAS cables are connected with an Adaptec Ultra 3254 RAID controller switched in HPA mode. Okay. Let's check the performance of the hard disk drives. I've prepared the script where we at first exercise one single hard disk drive out of this J-Bot. So one single is active and we see the performance of the single hard disk drive is close to 300 megabyte per second, which is actually according to the data sheet. The data sheet says 281 megabyte. So the single hard disk drive is running. And now we are switching the second hard disk drive. So two hard disk drives running in parallel. And the performance is actually double. 500 to 600 megabyte per second. And now the third hard disk drive is added. You can see here, this is the megabyte per second. Third hard disk drive is added, about 750 megabyte per second. And now the fourth hard disk drive is coming. We are at one gigabyte per second, which matches to 10 gigabit networks, which is currently somehow common in enterprise environments. And the fifth hard disk drive is added. We are well below one gigabyte per second, actually about 1.2, 1.3 gigabyte per second. And we could do this until we are at 78 hard disk drives. That will take a while. So let's go to 12 hard disk drives in parallel, which is some of our configuration that is used in enterprise storage servers. 12 hard disk drives are giving us three gigabyte per second. And we can do 24. So now 24 are active. The whole block. And this simply scales. So it was about eight gigabyte per second. And if now we have 48 running, 48 is about 10 gigabyte per second. And then we go to 60. 60 gives us about 13 to 14 gigabyte per second, which is already more than 100 gigabit network currently used in enterprise in, uh, in data center environments um, will carry. And finally, all 78 drives are active. So the whole j -board is sending data. And this gives a performance of almost 17 gigabyte per second. Very stable, very high performance.
to summarize, when we need high storage capacity, we can do this with high capacity enterprise hard disk drives as we've shown here. So we can implement petabytes of data in a box, but as we need many hard disk drives, we can also make good use out of the performance of the hard disk drive. So as we've shown, 78 hard disk drives have brought us 15 to 17 gigabyte per second, and actually these hard disk drives could potentially do even more. For that, we need some modifications and some optimizations within the J-Board, uh, within the expanders and the SAS links, and we hope that uh, the manufacturers of the components will be able to implement these optimizations so that next year we can show you up to 20 gigabytes per second in the same system. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.